In Starkville, the LSU defense started Saturday's game with the same issues from last weekend. Giving up 23 points and some big plays in the first half gave Tiger fans visions of the ghosts of Georgia's past. But their improvement after halftime, well, that left Zach Mettenberger speechless. Yeah, I think they showed, you know, something that Coach Davis has always been able to do is to, you know, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? To uh, somebody help me out. Uh, yeah, improve it, change. I don't know. Next, next question. I screwed that one. Up. In those 30 minutes, the defense showed all-around improvement. Finally pressuring the quarterback, making tackles, and disrupting passing lanes. These are all trademarks of past LSU defenses that went missing in recent weeks. But D-lineman Anthony Johnson knows it's a building process. It'll happen. You know, uh, Rome wasn't built in a day, you know what I mean? So uh, we're just going to go out there and practice hard every day and prepare like we do every week and, you know, gradually get better. With the defense's improved play in the second half, we're finally starting to see some examples of players stepping into their roles in this young defense. And against Mississippi State, one positional group really took advantage, the young secondary. After getting torched against Georgia, guys like Corey Thompson, Rashard Robinson, and Tredavious White clamped down on the Bulldog passing attack, combining for 12 tackles and 6 deflections. Day by day, that's all I can tell you. Tredavious White is a guy who works hard every day, and when you look at Rashard Robinson, the guy who's only been here a month, he shows people why he's a, he's a great talent and can play on a big, on a big stage. It's plays like White's 40-yard interception return that show how much potential this defense can have, and they're going to need it as LSU's tough schedule continues to play out. <laughs> A little younger last game. We're not. We weren't as young this game, and uh, we'll have to play. We'll see. We'll see if we can improve on that. Be a little faster and a little older for next week. Yeah, we're the future. We're the future. Twenty-one sixteen, man. A future that's starting to look a little brighter. In Starkville, Patrick Clay, Tiger TV Sports.